In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a, an icon to a view within a model-driven app. So just to give you a context, now I already have a table called as cricketers over here, which has some columns in it, like the name and the uh, country, cricketers country. Let me add one more column over here uh, just by adding this new column. So I'll just add a new column and I'll call this as accessories. And this is uh, basically a kind of a choice column. And I will not sync it with global choice. I'll just say, um, maybe a new choice, or maybe let me hard code this for time being. And I will add it over here, say maybe bat and ball and your helmet okay so these are uh, three items and let me copy this value okay because this will be handy for us uh, so um, i've opened visual studio code over here and i have created one js file so i'll just copy this number okay zero one and zero two okay yeah right so now this is all done i'll click on save and now this column will get added in this cricketers table now parallelly what i'm going to do i'll call it as cricket column icon app okay so i'll create a model driven app and edit provision let me go into the cricketers table over here here under accessories i can select various items so uh, this is a drop down i'll click, click on bat i'll click on bat helmet And I'll, I'll select some of the component over here. So maybe select again that. Yeah. So, so all this value is done now. Now, when you create a model driven app, it will ask you to add that table. I'm going to add the database table over here and I'll select cricketers table. So cricketers and I'll click on add. Now this cricketer table is added over here. Now, as you see over here in this cricketers view, it will list down all the cricketers uh, parameters, right? Like the country ID, matches name and all those things. What I'm going to do is like, I'm going to edit this view, active cricketers. I'll, I'll just click on save and continue. And here, I don't want uh, all these things. So maybe I'll just start removing the columns. So I'll just remove this. Remove. Remove. I just want name and maybe accessories. Okay, so that's the only two thing I want. And what I'm going to do is like the goal is to add a column icon over here. Okay, now this is good. I'll just click on save and publish. So my view is ready. And in the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'll just go back and I'll go to the model driven app over here. Now, if I click on cricketers view, I should be able to see the refresh to you and I'll publish this model driven app. Now, currently there is no icon displayed over here, but if you want to display an icon, then what are the steps? So first thing you need to go into icon finder or any other website, which by uh, whereby you need to find those icons, relevant icons. So I'm an icon finder. I'm finding some, searching for some free icons. So I found one icon. I called as say bat, and I'll download the 16 pixel version in PNG format. Similarly, for ball, I have downloaded it, and for helmet, I just selected 16 pixel, and then I downloaded this. Okay. So I have three PNG files. Now what I'm gonna do is. Uh, under say solution so i've already created a solution as 12 jan 2024 okay so let me show you the solution which i have so yeah so this is the solution which i have i have added uh, uh, the table over here and i've added a couple of images bat and helmet now i'll show you how to add an image uh, i've already done for bat and helmet now how to add like you click on new more and web resources and then it will point it will ask you to browse for that 
uh, file. So I have already added bat and helmet. So I'll put the ball as well. I'll click on OK and I'll name it as ball. OK, now remember the file name, the name reference would be gear underscore ball because that's the prefix which gets added. OK, so if I go to my Visual Studio code, I'll just make a note of it. So gear underscore bat, gear underscore ball and gear underscore helmet. So this is what uh, we are going to reference. Okay, these are the images which we are going to reference. Now, this is all good. Uh, my app is all ready. Now, what I'm going to do under active cricketers over here, this is that view, right? Now, here, if I click on edit, it will take me to the view, okay? View editor window. Now, from here, what I can do, uh, I need to click on the column, say, edit properties of this column. And if you see, there are no properties present over here. It's just one property, right? So you can't do much in this particular view. So let's switch to a classic view, okay? The moment I switch to classic views, it will open in a uh, older interface. If I click on this column and I click on change properties, then here I can select the web resource and the function name, okay? Now we'll come to it, okay? What does this mean is you need to type in the name of the function which needs to be triggered and web resource would be the JS file, okay? So we need to create a JS file, point it to the web resource and type in the function name. Now the function name, which we can define whatever we want. So let's go to Visual Studio Code. Now in Visual Studio Code, I've just created a new file and named it as column icon.js, okay? And we have noted down all the uh, three image reference and also the drop-down value for this, okay? So let me go back here. Uh, let me show you what does that mean. So if I go into this cricketers table, if I go into the columns, and if I go into accessories, then, uh, under accessories, we have three items, which is bat, ball, and helmet. So bat, ball, and helmet. So that's the sequence. If you see here, the first one is bat, ball, and helmet. Okay, so that's the number. Okay, now let's start writing some simple JavaScript. Okay, it's not complex. It's a very simple JavaScript. So first thing first, what you need to do in order to write a JavaScript, we just say function. Okay, and we call it as uh, say Girish. Uh, JS or whatever name you want to give it. Now, two parameters being defined. One is the row, the row item, and locale ID. Okay, that's English, so 1033 and so on and so forth. Okay, and then close this. Open and close bracket. Okay, so this is how you write a JavaScript. Now, let's start referencing. Okay, so we will make use of variable. Okay, and I'll call it as variable what it is. It is variable of row, which will have JSON dot parse. We're going to parse the row item, which we have received with the function. So this is one item. Then we will say, uh, what is the column name? Okay, so maybe I'll just call it as uh, accessories call, act call, okay, accessories column, which is row, variable row which is the variable which we have just created, dot, and the internal name of the column. Now, if you see this accessories column name, its internal name is gear underscore accessory. So let's copy this. Go here, and then we'll just say gear underscore accessories. Okay, so that's column name reference. Let's put a semicolon. Now, use a switch statement. Now, in the switch statement, we are going to pass a call, okay? Now, then switch open, and then we will just say case. Okay, what is the case? Case is this. Okay, so I'll just cut this, and I'll paste it over here. Now, here, if this is if this item is selected, then let's make the uh, image name. Okay, now we need to reference an image name. So let's call create an another variable called as image name, and this we will just put blank for typing. And here we'll say if the first item is selected, then the image name is equal to this one, get underscore bat. Okay, so let me cut this and put a semicolon and break. 
Okay, so it's a very simple JavaScript. I just copy this again. Is this and this one changes to one. This one changes to two. And what was that? Ball and helmet. And helmet. And depending on your uh, choice column, you can prepare your JS. Okay. Now switch case is done. Now that will return something called as a result. Okay, so we'll say where result equal to. Now this image name is in the form of like the output should be in the form of an array. Okay, so I've just put a square bracket and I put image name, and then we are going to return this. Okay, we are going to return this array. So this looks good as of now. So we have written a JavaScript, and then JavaScript is taking the reference of the row, reference of a column pointing to a row. Uh, switch based on the case item which is selected if we have selected bat then you should see the bat icon if you should selected ball you should see the ball icon if you select helmet you should see the helmet icon and so on and so forth okay make sure this name is correct gear underscore bat gear underscore ball now from where this is coming is if i go into the solution which i've just created and here under web resources if you see this name gear underscore ball gear underscore bat gear underscore helmet so if you have all these things set up all good this i just save this okay so let me save this now the remember the function name is garish js okay now let me copy this function name and here coming back to the screen they will just name function name as garish js and now we need to reference the web resources okay now we still haven't saved the js file okay so let me save this js file and go into the solution and i'll just say uh, new more web resource and this time we are going to select js file so let me select the js file let me find out where did i paste this i think it's in the document so So that's under this PC documents. So this PC and documents. And yes, so this is column icon.js. I'll just click on OK, open. And we will name this JS as, say, maybe uh, Garish Big Column JS. Okay, some name Garish Big Column JS. And this type is JS and all good. Save it and that's it. Publish all customization. So now you have one JS file and three uh, PNG file, which is an image icon. Now, once this is published, what we can do is uh, we need to find this gear underscore gearish big column JS. Okay. Now, under web resource, if I click here, it will start searching for five. I'll just type G here and let it search. Okay, so if I search gear underscore big column JS, yes. So if I select this and width for this column, I'm okay with whatever it is. I'll just click on okay. I'll click save and close. Okay. And if I come here, let me preview this model driven app. So this one is, let me again save and publish this one. And where is our model driven app? So we have created one model driven app. So let me go back. This is the model driven app. I'll just play this model driven app. Okay. Before you do that, let's publish it. So the goal is basically to get an icon over here. Okay, so we have done done all our part. What we need to do again, go back. This is a model driven app. Now from here, model driven app, what we have done, we have gone to uh, the view basically. So this is that view which we have selected. We have gone into edit a new tab. So let me edit it in new tab so that we have model driven app as well as the view which is present over here. If you select this column, 
if you click on properties you won't get much uh, parameter just click on switch to classic now from here you go into the back end board click on accessories click on change property whatever column you have this is kiresh big column js kiresh js is a function name and okay all good so it is all set okay now what you need to do is you need to now refresh the model driven app so uh, we have published our js now there are some corrections in the js which i want to point that out now first thing watch over here where acc call is where root.gear underscore accessory so you're referring to that column but then the actual value would be to actually reference the value of that column so you need to specify underscore value that is one change second change is when you specify the image name you need to put this in double quotes okay so here i put all the image name in double quotes and once you're done with this just save this js and i'll show you how to override in js so if you go into this js in the solution you click on already existing js and here upload a file just click on the file choose the file whatever you want okay so this file you need to select whatever file you have uploaded and then click on save once you are done with it let me cancel this once you're done with it just do a publish okay and once you have published all your changes remember these three changes which we made we have put the double quotes over here and we have put underscore value in instead of uh, directly getting the column name once you're done with this just go to your view and and just refresh okay so let me refresh this page <clears throat> it might take a while for the icon to appear but if it doesn't appear then what you can do is just do a hard refresh so if you right click here and say empty cache and hard refresh And once you do that, you will be able to see the icon in front of the corresponding option set values, as you see over here. And also just to confirm, uh, if you see the JS, which gets populated is, if I sort by name, then I should be able to see the name of my JS, okay? So let me sort this by name descending order. And the name of the JS was gear underscore gearish big column JS. So that's it folks. This is how you basically add a an image to an option set value in any of the model driven apps view. Thanks for watching.